Hey everybody, Chad here. This is a gorilla cart. I've been eyeing these things for a few years now as I started doing stuff with plants in the backyard and around the house. They're very convenient. We also have a dock that we have to walk to a pretty decent ways. And so bringing gas down to the boats and things like that is annoying when you have to carry two at a time and then go back and get two more. Here we can probably carry four or five, maybe six of them in there. So uh, that's awesome. That's from my parents for my birthday. And uh, I'm gonna put that to good use. I already took a load of plants we just got from uh, town just now on the way home. So I'll show you what we got. I wanted something that would trail and possibly hang over the front of the wall right here. And this is a uh, Homestead Purple Verbena. And it's deer resistant, so that was one of the main things I looked at. I'm gonna try this purple. I know the yellow is usually the one that uh, is the most hardy, but uh, this says full sun and very good reviews online when I looked it up. So just gonna hopefully put that really as close to the wall as I can and hopefully just let it trail off and we'll see how it goes. If we don't like it, we can always take it up and then we'll have the drift roses right behind that, butterfly bushes behind those. Probably gonna have either sunflowers or, or maybe a fountain or something right here. These verbena also attract butterflies just like the butterfly bushes do. And the roses of course will as well. And we're gonna have a bird slash butterfly area on this side. And on the trellis, I'm either gonna get some climbing roses or maybe a combination of a climbing rose and maybe a clematis or um, possibly even a uh, boat going by with some loud music. Um, what was I saying there? Oh, or maybe either um, some moonflowers like I've had in the past or morning glories or a combination of those. Those get really thick though, so I'm not sure if a rose would like to share with those, but uh, even Carolina Jasmine is, is another option, but uh, probably eventually at least going to get roses up there. But this year may, may cheat with some annuals and stuff like that just to get some instant, um, instant flowering. And then right over here on the end, this isn't exactly how they'll be positioned, but uh, got some Nandina and these are Gulf Stream Nandina and they do several different colors as you can see already and the new growth and then in the fall they turn colors so kind of a greenish yellowish reddish colors in there and then we still got to put the uh, the cypress there I think it was false cypress or mop cypress or yellow mop or I don't know let's see golden mop cypress so golden mop cypress we got to get those in the ground as well so lots of all kinds of colors and we've got not doing much yet but they will right here these two twigs are white wedding hydrangea i put something in the middle there i was thinking possibly even a, a rose tree or maybe a few rose trees but we may go something completely different on that as well so we'll see let's get these things in the ground Okay, we're gonna plant these, dig a hole, cut out the weed barrier. If I get that deep down, which I probably will right here, sprinkle in just a little bit of fertilizer. Uh, this is the all-purpose plant food. Sprinkle that just a little bit in and mix it all together and uh, should be good to go.
It's um, Hi. it gets packed down real good. Watch this. Help you get started. There. Once it goes under, when you poke it up and you dump it, just dump it right next to it, like like right there, right there. Okay. Now it's easier. Kind of step it hard down in there because it'll go straight down. Mm -hmm. There you go, jump on it. Good job. Alright, now try to get on it, go straight down, make a deep hole. Here, <laughs> I'll help you out too. We'll do it, tag team it. Alright. Scoop that out, sit it real close. Now I'll do this. Yep, that'll break it. And you scoop it out. 